let's get to grips with understanding the imager module of Isotopes Ozone 9. So as before, we're going to start up in the top left. And as before, the first section we've got is our crossovers and we can apply them in the same way. This just means we can isolate specific areas within our spectrum to have certain stereo processing happen to it that won't happen to some of the others. Now the other views are a little bit more in depth and you may use them for certain things. So this first one here is the image correlation meter. And what this actually does is it traces this meter down here that goes from plus one to minus one. Now up in plus one means we've got a really good mono compatible signal. Minus one means the left would cancel out the right. And here is how our mono compatibility is occurring and we can see like when my kick drums and snares come in we're really mono compatible and in between them we start to dip out a little bit but never passing the zero point where we're experiencing phase cancellation. If we were experiencing it in a particular area this would be a good thing to look at and we could see that area occurring. Right here, we see only instance in all that section where we have the tiniest bit of phase correlation occur. And as you can see, once that happens, it is marked red. The next view is the stereo spectrum view. This is essentially a frequency analyzer, but independent for the left and right represented to us. Like before with the other modules, we have a learn module. So if we activate that and play, it's going to find the most sensible crossovers for this type of effect. We can disable the effect without disabling the sound. And as before, we can solo for specific areas to be heard with again our cross icon to remove any crossover. Below the bottom is split into two sections really. We have a metering section and we have our effect section. So let's have a look first at the effect section, how it works. We're gonna solo the red band up here, which is some of our high end. This is going to be band three here, and it would correlate to band three over here. Notice we've got stereo width as a control, and all four controls do the same thing. If we were to push this to the maximum, it gives us the maximum stereo width possible. And we can see our correlation meter is jumping a lot more into the zero territory. If we were to use our readout here, we can see there's lots of phase cancellation now occurring. We can dial it back to make the signal feel wider, but also use our metering to check that we're not getting any adverse effects. If we were to look at the low end in this track, You can see we've got really good mono compatibility, but there are slight differences in the real low end between hits of the kick drum. In this case, these are minor and wouldn't affect the track overly, but what we can do is ensure that they are 100% mono compatible. And we could go to band one and drag this down, and that will give us 100% mono compatibility. If we bring it to absolute zero, it will be 100% mono in that area. Going back to band three, when we pushed this up, we experienced a lot of phasing issues as we made this part of the track particularly wider. Down here we have stereo eyes. And what this does is effectively reduce the range between the phase and the phase cancellation. So we can give the feeling of a wider sound, but balance it out so we don't incur so much of a penalty for the phase cancellation. And we can balance this between one and 20 milliseconds.
We also have two modes for how the widening effect works. You may find in certain instances, one works better than the other. To ensure mono compatibility and added width across the entire track, we can use stereoize in either mode, and this should always remain mono compatible. Something useful to note with the imager is that within setting imager, we have prevent antiphase as an option. We can enable prevent antiphase, and this will also help us be able to push our sounds without causing phasing issues throughout the track. Phasing issues still occur, but they're much less frequent than we previously experienced. In this case, Stereoize exaggerates any phase. Having a look at the monitoring, here we have a vector scope. Anything within this triangle area here is gonna be mono compatible. Anything over here is our sides. And if we think of mid side processing, this is the mids and these are the sides. Keeping this around plus one will always be mono compatible. Getting down to minus one would be a complete opposite. Whereas zero being that crossing point that we can see just here where it starts to turn red. We can switch the view to polar levels as well. We can have the plot dot graph as well. The no principle here is up and down is mono compatible, left and right is phase. And that is an overview of the imager in Isotopes Ozone 9.